Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we'll be showing you guys how to make your GoPro footage look more cinematic using HitFilm for Express. So today's tutorial is pretty easy, most of the concepts are pretty easy to understand and some of them do require a bit of creative flair so today's tutorial is something we're going to rate 2 stars out of 5 on the difficulty scale. So the very first thing that makes your GoPro footage look uncinematic and GoPro like is the fisheye effect that's generated by the curvature in the fisheye lens. So as you can see in this shot here which I've chosen specifically to demonstrate this point, the horizon which should be flat is all curved all over the place. and this is a result of the fisheye lens in the GoPro. To fix this we need to warp it so that the horizon is pretty much straight. Now the lucky thing is that there's nothing really complicated about this, HitFilm has its own effect which deals with this really well. So just go into the warp section and just drag action cam lens distort right onto your video layer. Opening it up you'll notice a bunch of presets which I'll get into later, but you'll notice that the field of view is really what warps the image here. Now you'll notice that it's warping it the wrong way. The horizon is even more curved now. So to fix this, we're just going to hit reverse. And you'll notice that despite this being pulled in a lot and lots of transparent areas here, you'll notice that the horizon is flat. So to fix these transparent areas, we're just going to change the scale anchor to be height. And that way, it scales within itself. And if we just change it so that the horizon is flat, now it already looks much better. We can turn on and off the effect to see what it's done. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Just hit reverse, select the scale anchor to be height, and mess around with the field of view until some of the lines that should be straight in your image but are curved are straight again. Now alternatively, if you really don't have the time for that, you can choose a preset. So for example, GoPro Hero 3 Plus slash 4 wide 16 by 9. Just select that and it will create a preset uh, with a field of view of 63. This is especially helpful if you don't really know how much the field of view should be. These provide a pretty good guess as to what they should be. So in the second clip we've got here, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to drag the action cam lens distort on. And you can notice in frames like this one, this one's very easy to see, the edge of the pool here is curved, when in reality it should be straight. In fact, it's very curved, so we need to go ahead and get rid of that. I'm just going to go down and select the GoPro Hero 3 Plus slash 4 preset, you'll notice that it gets instantly much better and this line becomes straight. So I don't think there's much that I need to do to this clip to change it. So that's the very first step, and it's probably the most important step. Next we're going to do something else, which is to add letterboxing on our videos. Now this is not a necessity, in fact you can choose not to do it and still have cinematic looking video, but this is the best way to go. The reason being is that when you're watching a YouTube video or some other kind of internet video, usually it's got a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. 16 this way and 9 this way. However, in the world of cinema, films have a much wider aspect ratio. Often they have aspect ratios of 2.35 to 1, which is much, much wider. And it's for this reason that on TVs, you have black bars often when you're playing films. So we can actually replicate a wide aspect ratio in HitFilm by just adding those black bars. An easy way to do this is to just go into the effects panel and search for the letterbox. Drag it onto your footage and instantly we've got those black bars. 2.35 to 1 is the custom one, but you can choose a custom ratio if you want. Now this is great, but what if you want to apply it to all of the clips? Well, there's an easy way to do that as well. In your media panel, just select New, Plane, and make a white plane. Then drag that plane above your video footage and lengthen it to cover all of your video footage. Add that same letterbox effect onto this plane and you've got yourself a white plane with black bars around it. Go into the clip properties and set the blender mode to be darkened so that only the black bars show through. And now you've got black bars over all your clips. The great thing about this is that you can readjust your composition as well. So because the black bars are on the top of the image on a separate layer, you can adjust the position of the bottom layer independently of the black bars. And that way we can change our composition even after the fact that we've shot it. Now in this image the horizon is a little wonky, so I'm just going to rotate it. And then because you can see these black bits here, I'm just going to scale it back up until it fills the frame. And that works really nicely. 
So as of now, we've gotten rid of that distortion effect, and we've also added some letterboxes to make it look more cinematic. Now we're going to go into the color grading to make it look even more cinematic. So of course, the color grading is very creative, it's very personal, and you can do whatever you want. It changes between each shot, so every shot you should color grade differently. But as you can see in videos like this, this one's shot pretty flat. It's not very contrasty, there are a lot of greys in the image that you can see, um, and so we need to really spice it up to make it look a bit more cinematic. An easy way to do this is to go into the color correction and drag the brightness and contrast effect right on here. Just lift the contrast and you've got yourself a more contrasting image. However, I'm just going to go ahead and add the curves effect. It's a bit more complicated, but it works really well. Essentially how it works is that the blacks are here, the whites are here, and if I change the curve, I'm moving the dark bits down, and here I'm moving the white bits up, which makes the dark bits darker and the white bits whiter, and that essentially adds contrast. I can create points anywhere within this plane that I like, so I'm just going to bring the midtones down here a bit, add some contrast to the shadows, and lift up the highlights. And I've got a look that I like. Now that's the basics of it, but something you can do if you feel like it is to add the color balance effect. Essentially what the color balance effect does is you can change the amount of color that is in different luminance values. So for example in the shadows, if I want to add lots of green into the shadows or the dark bits of the image, I can do something like remove it from the highlights, and that adds contrast as well. So a general way to go is to add blue into the shadows because blue is cold, and to remove blue from the highlights. Now it doesn't always work, and you have to mess around with this color yourself, but it works pretty alright in this shot, and it does separate this guy in the foreground from everything else in the background. So next up we can add a vignette. Now, this is not something that I see many people do, but it's something that I like to do because it does make it look somewhat more cinematic, like it's been shot in film. So just drag the vignette effect right onto your video. You can set the width and the height to be that of the comp, and then you can change the stretching and the softness to create the image that you want. If you're adding a black vignette, then you might want to think about brightening the image overall. So you can add something like a brightness and contrast effect to get that done. Now we've pretty much finished it for this clip. I'm just going to do a similar process for this clip and I'll be right back. And I'm pretty much done. So just to summarize what we've done in today's video, first of all we learned how to get rid of that ugly distortion that's found on GoPro cameras. Then we did a letterbox so that we had these black bars on the top and bottom of our images like cinema and then we added our own color correction. Now this clip here right here, I didn't do much to the curves. In fact, what I did really was I just lowered the shadows and the midtones I raised a bit and the highlights I dropped because I didn't want this snow to be really too bright. Then I added just a bit of normal brightness and contrast to counteract the vignette that I added. And then in the color balance, I added a bit of red into the shadows and added a bit of blue into the midtones. So that's essentially it guys. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it, I hope this was useful to you. Make sure to check out some of my other HitFilm tutorials because HitFilm is of course such a great program that can do amazing things. And I will see you guys in the next video. So stay shiny. Bye.